This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey, this is Marty from Total Outdoor Programming. I'm out here with my friend Chris. Hello. Chris and I have been hunting waterfowl for a long time together. It's one of our favorite things to do. Today we're going to do a video just about some early season spreads that you can do to set up. One of the most important things to remember for setting up in the early season is location. Uh, you're going to want to know uh, where your geese are frequenting at, um, cow pastures, hay fields, uh, things of that nature. Typically during early season hunting, uh, Marty and I will bring out anywhere between 12 and 18 decoys. There's not too many uh, corn fields that are cut, uh, bean fields that are cut down, so they're gonna be hitting smaller fields anyways, and if it looks overcrowded, chances are they're gonna buzz right over the top of you. And what you wanna do when you're thinking about where you're gonna set up in a field, Number one, you want to try and be right where they've been landing. If you've been watching them hit a field over and over, try and get in that area to set up. Secondly, you want to set up with your shooting area, your landing zone, so to speak, out in front of you with the wind at your back. Right now, this wind is coming across like this. Those geese, when they come in, they're going to cup into the wind the whole way down. That's their braking system. That's what they use to drop down to the ground. So you want that at your back and your landing zone out in the open in front of you for them to land into. So when you pop up, you've got an easy range of motion on your shot there. If you can have the wind and the sun at your back at the same time, it's gonna force them to come in, land in your direction, but they're gonna be blinded by the sun the whole way. So always try and set up if possible with the wind and the sun at your back. So it's really important on your big group back here, you're gonna kind of use those decoys as a blocker for yourself also. So if you've got some standers, make sure and save a lot of those standers for right in there. That way when you're down in your ground blinds, those bigger decoys are up blocking their view of where you're at. It'll help give you a little bit more cover so they'll come in a little bit closer. We have a couple family groups and they're positioned um, almost in a V or, or a U, however you wanna put it. And uh, we have them turned so it almost looks like they're going to walk into this bigger group that maybe there is something there that uh, that they want to get into as well. And then it doesn't hurt to put a pair here and there, just something to break it up a little bit. You're just kind of making it look like different family groups have flew in, four, five, six at a time, dropped in, and they're feeding their way in towards the main group, which is where you're set up at. You want to be careful when you're uh, placing out your decoys that you don't have too many sentries or, or standers being on alert. Uh, you don't want to give the impression to any incoming geese that there might be something in the area that could harm them or that they're getting ready to take off anyways. And then as the geese start coming in, you start dropping some of those geese. Don't be afraid to pick those up and put them out there. That wind blowing against those feathers just adds a little bit more realism to it. Just set them out like they're part of the group that's coming in. It's also really important too when you're setting out your decoys, you can use those decoys to help get a better idea on what the range is. Typically when Marty and I uh, set out our decoy spreads, what we'll do is uh, we'll mark our range with uh, one or two decoys on each, on each side. Uh, that way we can have a better gauge when the birds come in to us that we're not actually sky busting, which there are a lot of people that will just shoot at anything that passes by even though they're out of range. The goal here is to bring something home, not to wound something and send it back to the water. Now once it gets later into season, you'll want to start changing it up a little bit more, maybe adding some more decoys as the groups get bigger. And uh, even towards the end of season, when they've been pressured all through the fly zone, you might want to go ahead and start dropping back down into something like this again, rather than using the big decoys. But this is a good setup that you can use for early season. Hopefully these decoy setups help you in early season. If you're just getting started in goose hunting, these are really easy setups to remember and they work really well. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the lines below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We'll leave those links in the description line below there too. And as always, keep subscribing and we'll keep more videos coming for you. Turn my zippers up. <laughs>